Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing some disappointing Ninjago news, but also some understandable Ninjago news. Now this comes courtesy of Lego designer Tooth Dominoes over on Twitter, and this is regarding the upcoming Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Part 2 set known as Cole's Titan Dragon Mech, which I think looks really amazing. I have already placed my pre-order for this set, when it comes out in the States on August 1st. Like I said though, the news regarding this set is kind of disappointing. So Tooth Dominoes over on Twitter said the following, I just want to clear up something I've seen in a lot of comments on the Cole's Dragon Titan mech reviews. This is not the new standard for Ninjago mechs. This is a very specific product with a very different target from our usual 6 to 9 kids. Future Ninjago mechs, unless intended for the 12 plus age range, will be more in line with our previous mechs and will prioritize play. The Cole mech is a special offering intended for a different audience and a different experience. Yeah, so essentially this super articulated, super awesome mech that they are coming out with will not be the standard moving forward. Which, again, that is disappointing, but it does make sense. It's disappointing in the sense that every Ninjago mech, I believe, should at least have a certain level of articulation to it. Not just for display and older collectors, but also for play. I feel like articulation adds a lot to the play value value when these mechs are pushed towards younger kids and younger Ninjago fans. At the same time, it is understandable that they would want to keep a lot of their upcoming mechs in line with what we've seen prior. Think some of the elemental mechs that we saw earlier this year for Ninjago Dragons Rising. Those had decent articulation, but they were lacking quite a bit. At the same time, they do make for good toys. This set right here, Cole's Titan Dragon mech, is very obviously trying to be an adult collectible, definitely meant for the older side of the Ninjago fandom with just how massive and detailed it is, not to mention, yes, the articulation is insane. And while it might be easy to say this should be the new Ninjago standard for mechs going forward, because everything in comparison to this that comes after is not going to look that good just by default, that's not really how it works in reality. My only hope is that we do eventually get other mechs that are just as good as this one. I don't have this set just yet, I have not watched any early reviews either, I'm not one for watching early reviews, but that thing looks insane, it looks amazing, and it looks like it will be one of the best Ninjago mechs ever. I would love to see more mechs in a similar style, and while every mech cannot be Cole's Titan Dragon mech, I do believe that some more effort should be put forth towards some of these smaller mechs. There is a way to make those mechs better, more articulated, a lot more fun for every age range for Ninjago fans, but again, maybe that's also just wishful thinking, who knows. Either way, leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments surrounding this tweet made by Lego set designer Tooth Dominoes over on Twitter, and what do you think about this entire situation? Leave all your thoughts down below, and thank you so much for tuning in. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.